Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have a ton of Monster High tea to catch up on. We have Monster Ball Frankie confirmed. We have more pictures of G3 Abby, a new music video, and more. So stay tuned and let's get into so it. So let's start off with the Monster Ball Frankie news. So by now, we've seen almost all of the Monster Ball dolls in person, except for Laguna. Uh, and in all of the backs of the boxes, we can only see the artwork of those four dolls. Dolls. Frankie is nowhere to be seen, uh, also not on the picture that they'll include of the actual dolls. So where is Frankie? Where are they? Why are they not included here in the main lineup? Well, I guess just because Frankie is not going to be officially part of the Monster Ball line, but it's more going to be like an unofficial playset that has an exclusive Monster Ball themed Frankie doll just like with laguna spa day um she is also kind of like creepover party themed you know slumber party themed with her bathrobe and you know like the whole el element of like the spa um you know play features but nowhere on the packaging does does it say that she's part of the creepover party line because she's not really she's unofficially part of the line uh and so that will be the same case here for monster ball frankie she will be an exclusive doll in the amped up placed it that's similar to the claudine fashion closet playset that was released on amazon and i believe it's only amazon exclusive at the dolly news on twitter confirmed this writing i cannot confirm amped up frankie is the frankie that will go with the monster ball lineup these are some of their confirmed pieces and here we have a short description as well that's actually not new we've already had this a couple of like we got this a couple months ago but it reads Frankie sign amped up set description. Amp up your collection with the Monster High doll amped up Frankie Stein. Complete with voltageous fashion and preppy punk energy. Accessorize with rockstar style. Metallic puff sleeves, faux leather lightning bolt shorts, draped chain harness, deep toe boots, a zipper detail with spiky hardware heels, and a chunky ring with bracelet. Let your music energy shine with the included guitar and instrument perfect for any performance includes beauty essentials to achieve rocker glam hair bolt hold hairspray blow dryer comb mirror and clips and complete complete the look with electric music energy and um included headphones so this is uh very in line to what we're seeing here with the leaked uh clothing pieces the shorts with the lightning bolt pattern and then the shirt with the puffed metallic sleeves both of those items um match the description one to one so these are we're assuming the outfits that she uh the pieces that she, uh, frankie's gonna be wearing <laughs> so that that looks amazing the pieces look really good um in the not like not like it gets, it's like standard mattel quality but at least there's like different fabrics being used here for different textures um and of course it's going to be included uh, they're going to also include some more accessories and maybe some more outfits outfit pieces uh i'm not sure it seems that they're going to go more of a obviously more of like a music route with more instruments and uh it actually makes sense that frankie would play a guitar because in one of the early episodes of um you know the new g3 series uh frankie actually tries out the uh guitar of finnegan so that's really cool that they're kind of like you know a little easter egg uh, maybe it's even finnegan's guitar you know who knows but uh frankie has definitely you know tried to play an instrument before and it's really cool that in this set it's all about playing instruments and music. So I guess Frankie got the hang of it in the end after all. So I think overall, uh, there's no description of her, of, sorry, their hair or makeup, but I'm assuming that it'll be, you know, pretty punk, preppy punk energy like they wrote here. Maybe some neon colors as well, since Frankie works really well with neon green, blue, pink, and that's in their color palette color palette anyways um the hair i'm very interested to see what they're gonna do with it hopefully something unique uh and hopefully the whole outfit will, will also just match the energy of the other monster ball uh dolls because i mean they yeah they are supposed to be part of the lineup so i, I just hope that they can still look good amongst the other 
dolls, especially Cleo, because you know for sure, Cleo and Frankie, a bunch of people will pose them together holding hands, so and they will look adorable, so I, I just hope they match, kind of. <laughs> Moving on, we did get a new music video uh, from the Monster High YouTube channel here, uh, where it's all about the, you know, School Ultimate Secret Series 1 dolls and their outfits, so it's not much, like, there nothing juicy happened, we didn't get like a, like some lore dropped here, um, we just got to see the ghouls, you, you know, look fancy schmancy in their uh, diverse, you know, uh, mix and match options you can make with the actual outfits. So I think um, I was not, I was not expecting them to make a music themed, um, music video themed after these Ultimate Secret Series dolls. I was not expecting that with Creepover Party, it made sense because of Twyla, you know, Twyla got a music video and then so of course they, they could have, they did made a, they made a music video just about all the Creepover Party dolls. Um, but with this lineup, uh, I was not expecting it. So I guess we'll get music videos for the second series and third series as well, which will include Torlai, Gulia, and uh, Twyla. So that's exciting. Um, speaking of series two and series one, uh, it's series one is getting now more wildly available uh, in the US. Uh, so that's amazing uh, for all of you US fans. <laughs> but here in, in Europe, for instance, where I live, uh, series one is not available and series two is listed on smith's toys but that's kind of weird that they have series two listed but not series one uh it's supposed to release sometime in june so that's actually very soon so uh hopefully i get maybe we'll actually get them on time for once that would be very cool um but yeah let's see what happens with you know series two uh series one hopefully coming to europe as well i'm kind of scared because like I, I i can already tell that with these new monster high g3 dolls some of them might not come overseas or might not come immediately like we, we might have to wait like a year or something to get like deuce torlai twyla you know gulia because all of them are store exclusives except for deuce i guess he's he could still be amazon exclusive here in europe as well so but the other dolls and like the play sets and then all the budget dolls and all the you know gorgonizer like all that stuff it, it's mia here on smith's toys europe so uh it just kind of sucks you know it's, <laughs> but, and now with abby you know she's being released as well i'm kind of uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait until next year to get Abby, probably, <laughs> which sucks, but like, you know, what can I do? Um, but the music video, sorry, the music video at itself looked pretty cool. Um, I wasn't a fan of the actual bop, like the, the music, the actual music, <laughs> the rhythm. It just sounded a bit a bit generic to me. But um, there were a couple of memeable, memeable shots in the music video. Like, I don't know what's up with that, but like, yeah, the outfits look cute, so it's, it's okay. <laughs> Keeping on theme with the Monster Ball uh, dolls, we actually have new pictures of Cleo here being unboxed by Sketchy Clown on Twitter. Um, and they also did a little custom bang moment that we'll see see at the end so Cleo you know she's been also spotted cited on um, various different uh, you know venues like different stores different online stores so I do think um, if you're really looking for Cleo you might be able to find her again in the US like in Paul Mart store I think there's they might still have her she might be sold out um, in Target you know Walmart I'm not sure if they are still they're even starting to get available the monster ball dolls there already um, but I've seen people get Cleo so I, I think they either got them at Paul Mart store or they found them on Amazon or something I don't know but um, basically if you live in the US I think you should be able to find her sooner or later and so Cleo actually looks really good I think out of the box I really definitely love her dress the black portion which seems to be also malleable like you can actually like style it up in different ways as we'll see in the comparison later on um, but the bangs look really good like sketchy clown did an amazing job with the custom bangs here you can kind of see the process of how they uh, constructed the bangs how they cut them really they just pulled some hair from the back pulled it over to the front uh, cut them put an elastic you know little hair tie around it to keep it down with some gel or hair hairspray i'm assuming um and voila there you go she looks amazing uh and here you can see and before and after with bangs with no bangs um 
I don't know which one I prefer. I mean, obviously the bangs just looks more like Cleo and without bangs, just the forehead. The forehead really does look really big. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I like both versions, but the bangs definitely are killing it, seriously. Um, and here's what I was talking about with the black uh, portion of the dress. Like it looks reversible or something. So very interesting. Um, but I think Cleo overall looks really cute. And the headpiece, amazing. Before we get to the last story, I wanted to quickly showcase some edits people have made to Cleo. Claude's face and how little tweaks can really make Claude's face just look even better. So here, Opalescent actually made a it repainted the face up for Claude and it wasn't easy they mentioned but it looks amazing I, I think the the direction that he's looking in like he's looking he's looking a little bit like up um and the eye shape is different the eyebrows the the lips like I just think it looks way better there's just more expression here than with the original face paint which is just like the emoji eyes and like the lips just like really like nothing there's like nothing in his brain so um, he's a doll obviously there's nothing in it so he doesn't have a brain <laughs> but, girl but like just the expression it, he looks like he's thinking here in the original doll he's he's not thinking he, he's not he's like just nothing he, he's not he's just a bubble you know airhead so i really wish that they had incorporated some kind of like expression with him some kind of like eyebrow raise like an eyebrow raise like a little eyebrow cut as well i think would have really helped to solidify his expression more maybe a side glance would have helped him let look less creepy um I don't know. I just, I just think small touches, some, some small fix-ups here and there would have really helped Claude to make him look more uh, like himself. Because it's a really, it's a shame. The doll looks actually good. The hair is really big. I gotta admit, uh, and it's not really show accurate. But I'm sure you can cut it down the face is just it's it really it's a shame because you can't really change the face unless you do a repaint um and as even then most people don't have the resources or capability of doing a repaint that suits them so it just really sucks <laughs> and lastly yeah so we have more g3 abby sightings from people who actually keep going to the mattel store like here uh, someone who dm'd me they actually sent me pictures of the abby that they got in store and the abby looks amazing here as well but as we'll get to more pictures of Abby, you might want to notice that the eyes, the face screening looks a little bit different. And I do think there's going to be different variants with the eyes and eye placing and that face screening with different Abby dolls. Like I think with some of these dolls, the eyes might look a little bit off like off center if that makes sense. Like I think because she has a side glance, the one eye might look a little too distant in the way she's in the direction she's supposed to be looking so keep an eye on that if you want to get your perfect abby in store also something else to look out on is that in the mattel store if you do live in the us and you can drive to la even then it might not be sure that you get one doll but if you do you can only get one because they there is a you know limit one per person uh doll for these abby dolls it's quite clever for mattel because obviously most people scalpers would want to get all of them but with this limit there's going to be more stock for more for more people available fellow content creator at doll megaverse alfie and it's actually his birthday today so like happy birthday alfie if you're watching this happy birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear alfie happy birthday to you. <laughs> there you go um but he actually went to the LA store, the LA Mattel official store in LA, um, to also get an Abby, and he made a review as well. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out his review. I believe that's the first review of Abby on YouTube that I've seen. Um, but yeah, so and there is a limit, you can see it in the background. And they also had Claude, which, but I mean, it kind of sucks for Claude because like no one's gonna get Claude now that abby's out like I, it really sucks because like boy dolls in general just don't sell as well um and everyone's gonna be looking for abby and not claude <laughs> so, but he mentioned in a story that um her hair is poly so if you were wondering what her hair type is it is polypropylene or whatever how you say it <laughs> so i guess it's not a good hair type from the reaction i got from people so that's yeah i'm sorry i don't know yeah it, it sucks i mean it's just the hair type they used um it, at least it looks nice like i don't yeah not sure why they used that hair type i i think it's because like a certain hair type they use for fantasy themed colors like and obviously abby has like a lot of purple and blues so maybe that's why 
Um, but uh, yeah, I think people wanted her to have saran or something, uh, which again, or nylon. I don't even, again, girl, like these hair types, like they just go over my head. I have no clue. <laughs> but also look at these comparisons between G1 and G3. The G3 Abby doll is actually wearing the G1 Abby clothes and vice versa. They look amazing. I, I think, you know, I really wish the G3 Abby doll, well, I love her. I love her as is, but you can really tell here that she would she needed some more fluff. Like she could have used some more fluff, uh, like some leg warmers, perhaps, like some some more fluff around the collar or something, like or maybe like a headband. I really I I think she could have used a headband, really, because like she's cute, but like she needs more fluff. And uh, you can really also tell that new new Abby is more purple, um, and she's more colorful. The original Abby, she's more like opalescent. She's like more of like a like a glittery finish, you know she's more white glittery and like she has hints of blue purple and pink um but her base color was never like purple so it's very interesting how they you know evolved abby this way and that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe become a member today and hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses